Brexit has now officially been completed, and the UK has cut its ties with the European Union after Prime Minister Boris Johnson agreed a new trade deal with the EU. But what rules have changed now that the UK has left the EU? Here's all of the travel and business updates that you need. The UK has now lost its relationship with the European Union, after the Brexit transition period came to an end. There are several changes to everyday life in the UK that you should now know about, including changes to travel and business deals. A new era has started for the UK in 2021, after it completed its exit from the EU. The country officially stopped following EU rules at 11pm on New Year's Eve 2020. But that's meant that a lot of things are changing in the UK, including on trade, travel, security, and immigration. Boris Johnson claimed that the UK was now free to do things differently, and if necessary better, than our friends in the EU. UK nationals will be able to travel visa-free to European countries in the Schengen area for up to 90 days in a 180-day period. Your passport will need to hobby at least six months left if you travel to other EU countries, except Northern Ireland. Make sure to buy travel insurance that includes health cover when traveling to the EU. Your European Health Insurance Card, EHIC, will be valid until its expiry date. Mobile roaming charges come back into force when traveling in the EU. You won't be able to use the EU section at border control when entering a new country. If you're already living in the EU, you'll have protections under the withdrawal agreement. But you may need to apply for residency or meet certain criteria to remain in the country, even if you already live there. No British national will have the automatic right to live, work, study, or retire in any EU country. People choosing to live in the Republic of Ireland will be largely unaffected. EU citizens living in the UK on December 31, 2020 will have the same rights up until June 30, 2021. After that, they should check whether they can stay in the UK. Some people may need to become a UK citizen to stay in the country. Others may have to apply for the EU settlement scheme. Republic of Ireland nationals will be largely unaffected. The UK and EU agreed that no taxes will be applied to each other's goods. But businesses in England, Wales, and Scotland will need to make customs declarations from now on. Certain products, including some foods or plants, will need special certificates when being imported or exported. Paperwork will increase for UK businesses, as each export destination will have to be catered specifically for that country.